In today's video, I'm going to be discussing October 1st and the massive changes coming to SNAP benefits, otherwise known as food stamps or sometimes referred to as EBT for the low income. I have a list of changes for you here in this video and everything that's going to be starting as of October 1st that's going to impact about 43 million low income and fixed income individuals all across the country. Let's get into it as we do have a lot to talk about. Now, first off, really quickly before we do, I just want to say this much. Thank you so much for liking and sharing the video down below with those buttons. I really do appreciate it. Also, if you have not done so yet, make sure to subscribe down below as well. Totally free to do so. Thank you so much for your support. Also, everything I'm talking about here in this video directly pertains to SNAP benefits, food stamps, EBT, food assistance, supplemental nutrition assistance program, whatever we call it, it's all referring to literally the exact same thing. But I want to clarify that really quickly because some of the words, some of the abbreviations, some of the acronyms that I'm going to use here in this video are also pertaining to other fixed income benefits as well. But again, I want to make it very clear. This is all about SNAP benefits, food stamps, EBT. All right. You got that? All right. So let's talk through the list here. A bunch, a bunch, a bunch of different changes. Now, generally, October 1st is usually a pretty busy time of year for SNAP benefits. But this year, we've actually got a couple more that we're adding to the very long list anyway. Okay. Now, first off, why October 1st? Weird time of year, right? Like just randomly choose some date and we're just going to call it October 1st. Well, no, it's because of the start of the new fiscal year for the federal government. SNAP benefits run by the fiscal year of the federal government, not the calendar year, okay? Big difference, right? So like with other fixed income benefits, they run by the calendar year, January through December, and SNAP benefits run by the federal cover, uh, federal uh, government um, fiscal year calendar, which is October through September. Make sense? All right, so anyway, I, if that's not confusing enough already, let's just start the list here, okay? All right, so first off, number one, we're going to be getting all of those changes that I've talked about over the last couple months here that are going to be starting as of October 1st, including the COLA, okay? Again, I want to make it very clear, the COLA for SNAP. Yes, you get a COLA for SNAP benefits as well, okay? So this will be starting as of October 1st. It's not much, but at least it's a little bit of something. It's certainly better than nothing, right? Okay, so the COLA will be applied that day to SNAP benefits, okay? So that's number one. Also, the household maximums will also be uh, increasing based on your household size, right? You've probably heard me talk about this before in other videos as well. Depending on your household size, that determines how much you're potentially eligible to receive. A household of one, household of two, household of six, household of eight, and the list goes on and on. I've talked about those numbers before in other videos, okay? So those are some of the things that are changing. Now, let me get into more of the list as well. The farm bill, yeah, you know that one? Yeah, exactly, we've been talking about this one for a long now, or for a while now. The changes and everything that they've come together on with the changes with the, uh, the farm bill will also be applied, yeah, October 1st, okay? So these will also be coming into fruition as of October 1st. This is another very, very big one that we'll be changing then, okay? Which, by the way, I have other videos here on the channel. I can come back in a separate video if you'd like me to and break down all the details of the exact changes for the farm bill. Let me know. I can bring those to you, okay? So that's another one. Now, next, more changes coming in. Remember, I've talked about this one before over the last couple months here as well, which is the adjustment to the work requirements for a, B, A, W, D individuals, okay? This one can be very confusing. Honestly, I've talked about this one before in other dedicated videos, but this one can be confusing. It's actually based on a piece of legislation that was passed, passed, and this is not theory, this is not a concept, this is not an idea. This has already been passed. In fact, it was in June of 2023 is when they passed this, or yeah, 2023, sorry. I was second guessing myself for a second. It was in June of 2023 when they passed this, okay? They've been raising the age of the work requirements for those people who are identified as able-bodied adults without dependents. That's what ABAWD stands for, okay? So previously, the age range uh, prior to the change that went into effect September 1st of last year, 2023, it was 49. As of September 1st last year, 2023, it went from 49 to 50. October 1st of last year, it went from uh, 50 to 52. And now October 1st of this year, this year, okay, 2024, October 1st, it goes from 52 to 54. It's increasing yet again, okay? Now, if you want me to make a dedicated video about this, let me know. I can certainly do that. I can jump on a live stream. I can do whatever I can for you to uh, help understand this. This one's a very confusing one. I totally get that, okay? If you want me to come back, I don't really want to get into all the details here on this video simply because I have talked about it before in other videos and 
honestly, it's like a video in and of itself because it's it's kind of a lot to discuss, okay? But let's just say this much. If you are basically between the ages of 18 and 54 and you're considered able-bodied without a dependent, this applies to you. If you're over the age of, say, 54 and... Um, you you know if you're over the age of 54 you're fine this you're you're exempt from this it's, it's not a thing right um but if you are you know somebody within that age range and you have a disability again exempt you're not able bodied according to the definition here okay does that kind of make sense again it can be very very confusing let me know i can certainly come back and uh elaborate this further or do what i can for you to help understand this one i know it's it's a tough one to understand i totally get that it's confusing, okay? All right, now next, another one as well. Now, this one actually stems from a piece of legislation that was passed back in December of 2022. So, what, almost two years ago now? But it was retroactive back to uh, October 1st of 2022. And this one was the reimbursement of funds from EBT cards that were wrongly taken from a beneficiary. In fact, I have dedicated videos here on the channel over the last couple months talking about this one, okay? This is another confusing one, but unless they extend this out, this is also going to be expiring as of October 1st, okay? A very, uh, very important one is there as well. Uh, millions, millions, tens of millions of dollars, it's changing every month, by the way, tens of millions of dollars have already been reimbursed from federal funds that have been wrongly taken from SNAP beneficiaries. So again, let's hope that they continue to push this one out, or at least they do something to, to EBT cards, because this should not be happening. This is so basic this is such an easy fix here. Why they haven't changed this yet is beyond confusing to me. The amount of money that they've paid out in replacement benefits that have been taken from beneficiaries <laughs> well exceeds how much this would actually cost to implement this and get brand new cards that are more secure into the possession of beneficiaries. So they don't need to keep dealing with this. But again, <laughs> this is just what they're doing, okay? Um, but anyway... Unless they extend this out, this one will be expiring as well. Now, again, I've talked about this before in other videos, and I have dedicated videos here on the channel talking about it, but essentially this much. During this two-year period of time, again, October 1st, 2022 through September 30th this year, 2024, basically this legislation is in, uh, is in place. In other words, if your benefits are wrongly taken from you from like one of these skimming devices, one of these cloning operations where basically they get your card info and they basically drain your account as soon as it gets loaded, that's a thing. It's happening all across the country right now. And unfortunately, I know it's happened to some of you here in the community. I've seen your comments down below. It's, te it's bad, it's terrible, right? Um, but anyway, they basically said that federal funds will replace this and they're using federal funds to reimburse beneficiaries. Prior to this legislation being passed, they basically just said, sorry, you're on your own, right? If your benefits were taken from you wrongly, they basically had nothing in place to, to reimburse those benefits. They basically just said, sorry, um, maybe you'll get some benefits next month, right? They like literally, they didn't do anything to replace the benefits. But because of this legislation, you know, this is just what's happening, okay? So let's hope that they extend this out. And honestly, I'm just going to say this. This may not be a popular thing to say. Let's hope that they reform the EBT card in a massive way. Let's hope that they completely ditch all of the EBT cards that are currently in circulation right now and they replace them with more secure um, microchip cards. Why? Because we won't have to have this headache, okay? That's why. It's so basic. It's so easy. Credit card companies did it. Um, debit card banks did it. Why EBT cards haven't yet? I don't know. It just seems ridiculous that they haven't done this yet. They're spending so much money on replacing benefits and car, um, sorry, benefits and, um, you know, benefits that have been taken from people. They're spending so much money on this, replacing those benefits when they could just take that money and just like replace the cards and then we don't have to worry about this anymore. Right? So. Anyway, does that kind of make sense? All right. So these are some of the most important changes that are coming in, all of which are starting yeah, October 1st, right? Okay, so that's not that long from now, okay? Um, so anyway, want to bring you this information. If you want me to come back and elaborate on any of this further, please let me know down below in the comment section. I can certainly do that for you. If you want me to jump on a live stream, I can do that too as well. Answer questions in real time, live. Um, let me know. I'm here for you in any way that can be. But again, we are in a very busy time of year right now. Basically now through the end of the year, just buckle up, get ready. It's going to be super busy. A lot of big things happening. You know what's coming here in a matter of months as well. We've got the announcements out of Social Security. We've got these changes to SNAP benefits. We got the Medicare announcements. I mean, seriously, a lot of stuff that are coming in, all of which are impacting you, your money, your benefits, and your lifestyle. 
I'm not sure about you, but in my opinion, that is paramount. <laughs> That's important, right? All right, so anyway, let me know what I can do for you. Otherwise, please like the video down below with the like button, the thumbs up button, uh, share the video. Again, share button right down below. Subscribe to the channel right down below as well. Everything's right down below as you see, right? Leave a comment, question, feedback. Again, down below in the comment section. <laughs> Otherwise, please check out some of the videos here on the channel, including the thousands in the video library. The ones I've hand selected for you, again, down below in the description at the top of the comment section or right now pop up on your screen, you'll see some videos there as well. So please enjoy one of those. I'll see you again in just a minute. Thanks so much for watching and I hope this helps you.